Hello scrappers and planet lovers, Tin Man here with another video. So this is a follow-up video on upgrading copper tubing and in my previous video I showed you some effective ways to remove the soldering tips as well as other parts that had paint on them to upgrade copper tubing from number two value to number one. And one of my viewers actually mentioned copper pipe like this they actually at their scrapyard are getting number two price. So what I have behind me here is my vinegar solution. I have pipe like this soaking as you can see behind me and I have not pulled it out yet. It's actually been soaking for 24 hours so I am gonna pull it out. That's why this glove is on. And I'm gonna see if it will remove this black tarnish on here uh, so I can upgrade this to number one value. So here we go. Uh, I do want to mention to that person and other viewers, there have been a couple people said that they too are getting number two price for piping like this. And I would definitely suggest you shop around, look at other scrapyards. In order for copper piping to be classified as number two, the only criteria that it has is that it has to have soldering on it or paint. This does not have either on it. It just has a heavy tarnish or uh, black coating. So in my opinion, I have not had that experience at my scrapyards. I still get number one price. So again, sometimes it depends on the scrapyards and sometimes I hate to say it, but it's almost as if some scrapyards are looking for a reason to downgrade you. So definitely I would, I would call and check. Uh, definitely if another option is if you do have a bundle of copper and there are pieces like this definitely make sure you separate it so that way they do not downgrade you for the whole pile because if it is mixed together they are going to give you the lower price so definitely if in doubt separate it but again I would also shop around because I have not had that experience but either way just gonna see if I can clean it up using this uh, vinegar I did buy this at a grocery store. It's only 5% acid. This jug cost me 99 cents. Very easy to do. All I do is pour it in here. I will let it soak. Um, once I have let it soak, I do make sure that I rinse off these pipes with water. And then I will also throw baking soda on it to neutralize it as well. I find if you don't put baking soda on it, then it will still have a little bit of acidity to it and you will see some type of um, uh, reaction uh, if you are storing it. So definitely wanna make sure you put baking soda on it. The other nice thing about this solution is once I'm done with it, I just put it back into my container. I've used it about three or four times, so I'm not wasting it, I'm not losing money on it. I have done another video showing you how it will clean copper wire. So if you are interested in that video, go check that one out. Uh, and I do also want to make sure I point out with copper pipe that copper pipe or copper tubing, the only value you are going to, or the highest value you're going to get is number one price. Bare bright only pertains to copper wire and the copper wire has to be thicker than 16 gauge, which is the thickness of the lead of a pencil. So the best I'm going to get for this would be number one price. And currently number one copper tubing is going for about $3.84 a pound in London, Ontario. Uh, if this was number two, it would be going for $3.50, so 34 cents less. So again, here we go. I did throw a number of tubes in here. Not all of them were dark stained like this. Some of them were a little bit cleaner, but I do also have a rag here and I'm just gonna pull some of these out just to see if I can actually wipe them off a little bit cleaner. Uh, as I said, afterwards I will make sure that I rinse them with water, but you definitely can see that this one has become cleaner. That is definitely gonna be number one. Here is a little bit better. This is a little bit longer. I'm just gonna, again, like I said, just give it a good wipe. You can see, look at that stuff coming off of there. Look at that nice, as I said though, just because it looks nice and shiny, it's still only gonna be number one copper. But look at your difference between the two. And again, I am gonna check here. I do have a really black one here. You can see, gonna try this, see if it does remove 
this stuff. Yes, it does. Look at that one pass on that. It will definitely remove some of the black. Okay. Um, again, I might want to put it in for a little bit longer, but you can see definitely has upgraded it, cleaned it off a little bit, has taken off some of that blackness. Look at that towel. So I would say it will work. Uh, here is one that's actually been half exposed. Look at that black on this side. Look at that side here, a lot cleaner. So let's see if I can clean this one as well. So I might actually just leave it in a little bit longer, just rotate it a little bit. You can see though, it has upgraded it. Look at the difference in color there. So it will work. Like I said, I am going to leave it. Um, there is some pieces in here. So that is definitely one way. Uh, other people have mentioned, uh, you know, some type of tumbler. Some people will polish it with a uh, polisher um, uh, attachment to their grinder, if you will. But in my opinion, those types of things, you are skimming off a little bit of the copper. This way, very easy. Like I said, I just set it and forget it. And, uh, you know, give it a couple of swashes here and there. But uh, the nice thing, as I said, only a dollar for this. It does brighten it, as you can see, a little bit of time. But again, after I wash this off, I will put baking soda on it to neutralize any acid that remains um, and prevent it. Once I store it, I don't want any other reactions going on. Um, so definitely works. Um, hopefully that answered that question. But again, in my opinion, check around with scrapyards because as I said, some will try and downgrade you and you definitely, because you have the option of going to different places, you have the hand, you do not have loyalties to certain scrapyards. You can take it wherever you want. And you know, again, that is hopefully, you know, your decision, maximizing your profit. But again, short experiment, it does work. Hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you for those questions and comments. Please continue. Um, asking questions and commenting. I appreciate the questions. Definitely appreciate the feedback and our scrapping community. Please comment down below, like, share, subscribe, and I'll catch you on the next one. Tin Man out.